Hello and welcome to that Ordinary Friends podcast. We're still only three guys <laughs> out of the host. Don't swallow. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm here. Andrew and Alex is here. And Michael's there. I'm here. What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? You guys are done. You guys won. I know. We right? Big we, time. We got the fuck yeah. tent. And we just, they gassed them. The bugs are gone. Gassed no more. Them. Dead. Dunzo. Unless there's one straggler who's going to just fight for his whole colony. Dude, I don't think so because when we got back, I decided to, like, you know, look at my mattress after, like, two weeks of, like, just not looking at it. Because I did not want to see uh-huh. if there were, like, an army assembling uh-huh. underneath my sheets. <laughs> so after that, Yuck. Um, we got home and then I started searching and underneath the sheets, there were dead bugs. Uh, like, a couple dead ew. bugs. There were some on the floor, and I was like, okay. Did its job. Yuck. Right? Good. Yeah. Good job. But I was planning to sleep on that mattress still. Uh-huh. Right? Because, you know, I have nothing. I mean, what am I going to do? Sleep on the couch? Yeah. So I decided <laughs> to, you know, I was... I, what I did was I decided to take all the sheets off, right? And uh-huh. vacuum the fuck out of it. Just All to right. make sure. As I'm doing that, I'm peeling back like the the mattress so I can get in those tight little corners. And I see a hole in Uh-oh. the mattress. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I'm like, and I can't really see much in there. It's dark, right? So I'm like, ah, fuck it. Throw it out. Like, I, I, I don't, it, it, this thing is old. It's disgusting now. Uh-huh. It's yeah. so gross to the point where you're like, I don't even want to sleep on this anymore. Fuck this, dude. I'm done. Did you buy a new one? Did you head down to the local mattress land? We're going to. One? I'm going to purchase a new one, but right now I'm sleeping on an uh, air mattress. It's not oh, okay. bad. But yeah. I thought you were gonna sleep on like the box frame. No, like, on dude. The oh, springs. No, 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 no. How hard <laughs> that that is also gone because yeah, it's oh. old as fuck. Yeah. I mean, old. It's been like, in your family for generations. Fuck yeah, and mm-hmm. my family is one of those families who loves to do hand me downs loves oh, hand-me-downs like, Damn. like I, I don't know why like okay some hand-me-downs i can understand right maybe mm-hmm. a pair of pants yeah shirts stuff like if that they, if they fit if they why fit not? and sometimes they also like to give away mattresses for some reason mm-hmm. now i'm not the biggest fan of that but you know i get it like some mattresses can be super expensive sometimes you need to sleep in one now and you know the whole the whole thing with a uh, mattress is you most people want to like test them out a bit you know they want to make Mm -hmm. sure they're getting what they want to sleep on and some people don't want to get like the the memory foam or they don't want to get the remote control mattress or or whatever they want just a classical spring-loaded mattress yeah some people do like and i've been telling my mother this all the time like those are kind of dying like they don't really help out like once the springs go out it's over you're gonna have like a big old you know indentation in the mattress and it's not comfortable are it's you gonna come nice. into the memory foam world because i gotta tell you come on in it's pretty nice is it it's re- i do okay mine my mattress isn't full memory foam but there's like a layer on mm. top that i kind of attach with straps mm. so it's not the it's not the real deal but i have slept on one that's full memory foam through and through and it's really nice yeah. i don't care about the remote control because i'm not trying to sleep in like an s shape like a oh freak. yeah 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 but i mean if you want that go for it i feel like that's an extra grand though probably yeah well i don't know yet i mean i haven't really looked into mattresses lately but like i honestly don't really care what mattress i get like really as long as it's not like super cheap you know get like the race car race car bed for like oh, 10 oh yeah fuck yeah yeah hell yeah well i think um Weren't you going to get one? Or you wanted to get one that was like super fucking cheap on Amazon or something? It's a mattress, yeah. Was it was it memory <laughs> foam or was it spring-loaded? I have or? no idea. Oh. You don't care, though? No. Andrew can fall asleep anywhere. Just give him 10 seconds. Out. He's done. He's knocked out. He can fall asleep that fast. But, dude, we were at the hotel this past few days. And, like, let me tell you, dude. I did Miserable. a lot of sleeping. Let me oh, tell I saw, you. I a saw. lot of sleeping, dude. I like, heard. And it's like... Because we're still in a pandemic, so, like, nothing in the lobby is open. Like, so the, the pool the and games pool and stuff? closed, no games. 
no like lounge area closed it's all closed damn and you know we're in town right so yeah. in town there's nothing really to do like a hotel is just to go and sleep and then get up and usually go with family or go do something right but since we're in town there's literally nothing to do so all you are doing is just sitting in that hotel room and trying not to take another nap which is what i felt myself doing a lot because i, I mean, think that's think just about you it. I mean, think about it. Like, the chair that they have, they'll, they'll probably have, like, a desk, and that's about it, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on the hotel. Like, the hotel here is not, like, super luxurious. It's it's pretty basic. So right. there's nothing really much to do. I mean, like, you kind of sit there. You wait until, like, you know, wait till you're hungry. Go get some chow. That's about it. <laughs> and then after that, it's like, okay, time to get ready for bed, I guess. I'll wait. I've been napping the whole day, so I'm not going to be tired. I mean, I it's had that was... problem a, a couple days. Where like the first day I got, we got there, or the, or the second day, I think, um, I I napped for like at least three and a half hours. Right? Oh boy! Like it uh -huh. was, it was, and it was glorious, dude. The temperature was at sixty seven degrees. No, no. Let, let me let me finish. Okay. The room was at a cool ass sixty seven degrees. Uh -huh. You know how hotel beds have some nice cool sheets and pillows uh -huh. and comforters. It was nice as fuck. You could shield the blinds, let no sunlight in. It was fantastic. And then you wake up because you got to eat dinner. And then you're like, all right, oh, time to get some chow. You go get some chow. And then it's like, what, 9 o'clock, 9.50 or 10 o'clock. There's not really much on TV either because they don't have like the best channels. So mm -hmm. you, you know, browse on Netflix and then you watch something. And then it's over and like, all right, I guess it's time to go back to bed, I guess. Mm -hmm. so that was just the whole thing for like three days not saying it wasn't bad it just got boring quick surprised you didn't play like jacks or cards or something dude like we didn't bring or... shit we why brought not nothing. i don't know you didn't think know. ahead i mean no. you brought probably bought your tablet and stuff right brought my tablet my computer my phone <sighs> everything technology you yes. guys have so many board games that you we do have brought we could have yeah but True. <laughs> they were probably infested, to be honest. They might have been. Who knows, dude? Who knows? Who who? I don't know. Andrew, how did you like the hotel life? It was good. Boring. Mm -hmm. Not much to do besides watching Netflix all day. But I wasn't complaining about get that. Get some get some Mickey D's yes. right across the street. Yes, got church. Hell yeah, that's good. You could have walked there. Did you walk there? No. no. Why not? It's right there. There's it's not even that far. There's COVID outside. Yeah, they got COVID outside, dude. <laughs> no. dude it's kind of Fuck funny because shit. some of the like the, the employees, they would have their masks like around their neck, and whenever they would see us, they'd be like, oh. "Hello." <laughs> some of them, not all of them, but some of them would do that. Other people were just like, you know, um, going at it with nothing on, which was fine. Some people were like, um, I think there was like one employee that was like just going around every room and just disinfecting the doorknob. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's kind of weird. You go place to place, and it's different on how serious they're taking like mm -hmm. precautions. Like some yeah. places, they have gloves. They got the mask. They put the food in the box, so they just hand the box to you, so they don't even touch it. Mm -hmm. And then other places, it's like only a mask, like yeah. full on contact the size, or like like you said, the mask by the neck thing. Like I went to Chick Fil A, and the employee came to my car, and I didn't have a mask on, but he just had his down too. He didn't oh, even yeah? care. It's just like ah, oh, what do you want? <laughs> I was like. All right, shit, you're going to get me sick then, boy, but mm -hmm. I might get you sick too, so. Now, to be you. fair, you don't have to wear your mask in your car. That's, like, you're not supposed to. I mean, I'm not saying that you to. are not allowed to, but, like, you don't need to. You shouldn't. Because the service should be masked up. So that's on their fault, I guess. You know what well, I mean? you can wear it too if you don't want to spread it. Yeah, but you look like a dumb fuck why dude have you seen those people you, you still care who... about how cool you look no it's just like <laughs> really? you're in your own car you're in your own car oh, no i'm not wearing it driving around but oh yeah oh, that's what i meant like through. when i went to go get oh. some pizza this week there was some like old lady wearing her mask in her car with her sunglasses on like are you gonna catch covid well, from she's inside high your car? risk she's high risk are you gonna catch gonna it from inside it. your car though? who knows no i take the chance if no? you're 90 years old no Take no. every precaution. That's She's not, not a, you... a young man like you. All right, so this is what you do. It. This is what I've been doing. I've been <sighs> whenever I have to go out to get something, I've been uh -huh. masking up every single time. 
So what I do is I, I take some a mask, you know, some hand sanitizer in the car. When I get to the location in the parking lot, I mask up, put a little bit of hand sanitizer on, even though you don't have to, and then go out and do my stuff. And once I come back in to the car, I take off the mask, put on hand sanitizer, and then drive off. That's how you should. You don't need to wear the mask as you're driving. It, it It's not helping you that way. <laughs> You don't know that. I do know that. She's still, hey, she's still around. Maybe keeping it on in the car is the only way that she's still alive. May, I don't know, dude. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> hey, I forgot you're a scientist. I'm no scientist, but I know that's well, not then how shut it up. works. You don't know how it works. <laughs> you don't know. It's she, not she how it works. Keep... It's not how it well, works. Then why are we wearing masks? In the yeah. public, in the public, <laughs> among other people. That's when you wear masks. Could have gotten her clothes, and then she got back in the car, and now it's just... Well, shit, then she's already... Then, then, then the mask won't even help at that point. Oh, comfort. Comfort of the mind. She thinks it's helping. Yeah, I guess. I mean... She's at peace. Sure. What do you mean, sure? I, I don't Why know. Why else would she be wearing it? She's not wearing it just to piss you off. No, That's I know that. Goal. It's just like... It, it just looks so dumb. Okay. okay. <laughs> Old people, it just looks if you so want to like... look cool, don't wear your masks inside your car. That's mm-hmm. what Alex is saying. Listen to him. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it, there's no purpose. You're saying they look dumb. Well, that lady did. I'm sorry. It's just it, she did. <laughs> That's funny. Right? Looking dumb is not on her priority I know at that, that age. But when you wear it in the car, I don't know. But to me, I just kind of laugh. Because you're already in your own little bubble. Right? Yeah. There's not much more you could do. If you even, like, touch the wheel, and I'm sure you didn't, like, put <laughs> Like, if you're putting it on... Before you get into your car, in your own garage, like, oh, I guess I'm going into my car. It's a danger zone. Let her mask up. What the <laughs> fuck? That's so stupid. I guess. I guess. Well. Yeah. But you yeah. know, that's just me. I'm stupid, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you are, right, Andrew? Dude, he's stupid. Speaking of which, what? last night I almost forgot that I had to watch The Matrix this week. I finally did. I forgot about that Why too. Why didn't you watch on the TV? I would have watched that with you. I don't know. I, I guess because it was late, and um, I don't know. It just felt like a like I just had to get it done, you know. I honestly think Alex doesn't like watching things with you. To be oh, honest, that's not that. true. That's not true at all. I I, I love the, watching things with Andrew. Case in point, The Matrix. He was watching them. You well, knew that, but he was also playing his games and streaming. Because he hasn't been for for like fucking days, I he had just to give said, him that. You should have told him he would have watched it with you. He might like, have. Would you have? Yeah, you would have. Oh, my bad. But anyways, Dang. finally saw that movie. Uh huh. The whole first one only. First one only. And yeah. uh, gotta yeah, all say, this time. it's 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 pretty interesting. Twenty years later. Twenty years later. Yeah, I know. It's an interesting movie. Um, it's good. It is pretty good. It was kind of confusing at some po- some points. Oh, I was getting that one's confusing. <laughs> I was getting confused. Like, wait, so that the, one's the easy one. There's gonna be a bit of spoilers here, but it's been twenty year, plus years, so yeah. It's like the Matrix is real, right? It's the real thing, but the world before that, the 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 real world is like a dreamland or something like that. Or, or... oh no. No. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. The real world is being dominated by the sentinels. Artificial the, the, intelligence. The, 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 the tentacle robots. That's the real, it, real world. AI. The, yeah. the, uh, the, the, the actual real looking world like it, like it is today is like a world, is like a, a simulation almost. Well, yeah, everyone's like everyone's in VR. Everyone's yeah. plugged in into the same world. Mm-hmm. And then the 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 Matrix guys, you know, Neo. Uh huh. What like? So they're like. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you've only you've go, only seen the first movie. They're supposed to go off and fight Agent Smiths, right? They're they're like a resistance. Like they're people that realize they're in the Matrix, and so. They're fighting the the computers. Uh huh. That's like the whole plot. Oh, of and and like you know the scene where like they have all the the, the the tiny babies in like this big old room. They're dreaming, right? Tiny babies. Yeah. 
What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Andrew? I think there's like a small cut to like a bunch of people or babies, but they're all plugged into the matrix already. Oh, yeah. They're like harvesting human beings. Like they're not born anymore. Like they yeah. create them from scratch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so they're like just being harvested in the fields like mm-hmm. plants. Dude, imagine seeing that when it came out. Holy fuck, dude. Well, that, yeah. Like again, whole, I, I was time... super late to this movie. Like the only thing I knew about it before going into was the red and the blue pill. That's all I knew. Mm-hmm. So I was pretty fucking fresh. So I was thinking like, oh, fuck, 1999, this is going to fucking blow people's minds. Mm-hmm. In case anyone's confused, in the world of the Matrix, the pe- mankind made AI, artificial intelligence, which took over. Mm-hmm. And then originally they were getting energy from the sun. And then they swapped to just getting energy from our brain patterns, like the energy created from our brain. So then they mm-hmm. basically plugged everyone into a fake world. So that our brain is just constantly active and they just feed off of that. And they have like millions of people on just on walls, basically like batteries. And then they grow them from scratch too. Like people don't have sex anymore to have babies. Mm-hmm. They just make them themselves. Yeah. And then, yeah, the matrix is the fake world that they're plugged into. But then there's certain people that real, I don't know how the original people realized it in the first place or got themselves out, but there's like a whole a whole group of people in the real world who are trying to f- get other people out. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. But you liked it, Yeah, right? I did. Yeah. Good. I thought it was way ahead of its time, low, like, way ahead. Like, really? even for, like, now, it's like, I never really thought about that. But You're talking like, about the story or the, like, the st- cinematography? The story <laughs> and, like, just the whole, like, idea of The Matrix. Uh-huh. Never thought about that. Well, something Again, like a I pothead never... would think of. Like, you think what so? if, man, what if we're all in a simulation? Well, yeah, at the time when it came out, mm. it was like everyone's thinking like, well, wait, what if it's real? Well, what if like we a, are in a simulation? Isn't that like a real like theory now? The whole simulation thing? I think we that's, talked about that before, but. That's Elon Musk being a crackhead saying <laughs> that we are in a simulation. <laughs> that, Ooh, yeah. that eventually in the real world, technology will get so advanced that we'll be able to create like a simulated world indistinguishable from the real world so how do we know we haven't done that already mm-hmm. and that we're in one that's basically what he's saying dude but what if it's true oh it's not i know it's not but like <laughs> what if it is that'd be pretty that's, fucking cool it's like saying what if zombies are real just because there's a movie movies about it they're true. not real yeah i know yeah that would suck though <laughs> not, do I, you want to live in the matrix no 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 Even that'd be you... that'd be like that would shatter my mind i would mm. want to go back and not take or take the you would take pill. you would take the normal pill <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude like that like okay see like Fuck, to no, me, like, me that like, e- like i know that whole premise is so cool but i think if i was in that position i'd be like Man, fuck this. Get me the fuck out. I don't even give a fuck about that. Like, <laughs> I don't even give a fuck if I'm the one or you're anything. Sheep. You're a sheep. Dude, you fuck wanna, yeah. You dude, wanna... I would be scared. Because I would think that you want to fight cause for, like, mankind. Like, oh, fuck. No, we're not being taken over. <laughs> fuck no. We're going we're gonna to fight. But, what dude, it's like, again, I haven't seen the other two, but, like, it seems like it's, like, uh, such a losing battle at that point. Like, it's like there's seven guys in the Matrix going in to fight off everybody <laughs> so at that point it's like holy, holy fuck we have like no chance but then then neo yeah. was like a fucking god at the end because i was wondering like through that movie he's like con- supposed to be the one but then mm-hmm. the oracle is like you're not the one but then at the end they real she uh, trinity realizes that yeah you are the one but not in the way you thought you were the one uh-huh. you know so that kind of bended it which i really dug and then once like she's like speaking to his body and stuff like that and then he like becomes God almost like he he takes all these bullets and I'm like oh fuck well he's dead because I've seen that happen to other people that mm-hmm. go into the Matrix like well he's dead like so does he come back in the second one fuck no he comes back then and there <laughs> I was like oh what the fuck so yeah. like he's like and then at the end he fucking flies I'm like oh okay holy shit can can I tell you something about the second one that's like it's not. I mean, it's not a big spoiler because it's not like a bombshell that something 
happens in it because you're saying like there's seven of them yeah that are fighting there's there's way more oh there people. is people there's oh, okay. way more people that are unplugged like a shitload oh okay okay not Makes all sense. of them are like superheroes like neo mm. it's like stopping time and shit i mean yeah. there's a handful of them that are <laughs> that can do martial arts but mm. a, that was a cool, lot of the whole colony cool. the martial yeah. arts with him and morpheus that, that was dope. he learned like every martial arts <laughs> there is in existence from a floppy disk yeah like plugged in like and oh, there you go actually when because my parents had that movie on mm-hmm. dvd and i wanted to watch it but it was but, rated r oh, and my parents scared? were my parents were big no-nos with rated r movies back when i was a kid and i thought it would be like because the cover has like all of them with their shades on i uh-huh. thought it was like men in black because i had seen men in black so i'm like it looks like men in black i'm a kid they're like, no, it's different. It's rated rated R. Don't, you can't watch it yet. But I never got to watching it. And then, like, I saw, like, I watched the whole thing. I don't know why it is rated R, to be honest with you. There's, like, no F-bombs. There's barely mm-hmm. any violence. There's no sex. There's nothing in that movie to make it rated R. I guess, mm-hmm. like, you can say, like, at the end when Neo and Trinity bust into that building and then shoot everybody up and they're all bloody. But that's mm-hmm. the only time they're bloody, though. Because when Neo does it by himself in that hallway, there's nothing. There's no blood. There's just rocks and gravel flying everywhere. So I'm mm-hmm. like, why the fuck was that even rated R? Like, they say <laughs> crap more yeah. than shit, I think, in that movie. I think that it was, like, at a turning point of PG-13 and rated R ratings. So, like, maybe the middle finger was, like, a, a thing because he flips off Agent Smith. It's like maybe that made it rated R. They're like I boom, think. rated R. Yeah, you I was like make thinking rated like R. boom, rated R. But like nowadays, PG thirteen movies can have two f bombs mm-hmm. and still be rated PG thirteen. So I, I don't know. But why? Why two? I don't why know. So specific. I th- but they're specific in a way they can't it. They can't say like, oh, I'll fuck your mother like sexually. <laughs> they have to say like, fuck this or get the fuck over here or. Mm-hmm. Are you fucking kidding me? Like that. It's in. It's all, right. all in the context, I think, with that. But yeah, I've only seen the yeah, first one, but if, really does. If if you thought this one was confusing, like you should try and wrap your head around it, because the second one's just there's a whole sequence. If Andrew knows what I'm talking about, Neo's talking to some fool. Oh, I, yeah. I it totally went over my head. <laughs> I still don't know what they were talking about to this day. But there were. Some I mean, the, things... the movie makes sense. Like the trilogy, like it makes sense what happened. But just the whole time, I'm like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> like, okay, Jesus so Christ. when he was talking to the Oracle about all that shit, not going to lie, like, half of that went over my head the uh-huh. first time. But then when Trinity brings it up again to kind of reinforce that, you understand it more through that way. Because, like, I feel like when, like, that scene is taking place, you think it's going to be explained to you super simple. And in a way, it is. Mm-hmm. But, like, there's already so much stuff going on in your head trying to understand what it is. It's, like, kind of hard to pick out what she means by it. So, even at that point, I was like, okay, I still don't know what's happening. Like, what the fuck is this guy's... P- why is he here? <laughs> like, why is he so important? Was, <laughs> was that the one... Did that movie have the spoon? Yes. Part? Yeah. When I, when I When the kid's talking, like, don't try and bend the spoon because that's impossible. Like, when she said, like, don't think of it as a spoon, I'm like... Why? Why does that help? What the hell? Like, like I think like, he said, like, like there is no spoon, or the spoon isn't there, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, there, I was like, there the isn't fuck? really a spoon. Like, so what? what does that, that was like mean? one of those. It's like one of the. It's like Yoda in Episode Five, where he's like, doesn't matter how small the or how big the X wing is, you still should be able to move it. Like, it's nothing. You gotta but get I, in that mm-hmm. mindset. That it's I get truly that nothing. part, but like, I feel like the Matrix is so like, it's almost like as believing like none of that is there almost. You know what I mean? Like, Morpheus keeps telling him to hit him. Mm-hmm. And I think Neo is, like, just trying to hit him instead of thinking, like, oh, I can just hit him. Like, because none of that's real, like, right? Because mm-hmm. they're all in that through their mind. But it feels so real that they can't get over that barrier of it being, you know, tangible. Mm-hmm. So it's like, like when he was saying, like, you got to make this jump over to the building... Like, I'm thinking, like, well, yeah, because, remember, it's not real. You just got to, I guess, envision that you jump over it, I think. But I, I don't know, like, I have no idea. I feel like you're, you're going to try and start doing that in your spare time now. Yeah. After you've seen the movie, you're going to be, like, holding a spoon. 
trying to bend it or trying to jump rooftops and <laughs> Could shit. Could you imagine and get that? Hurt. Imagine me doing that. That was like me after watching Spider Man for the first time trying to fucking like, oh, web dude, web at shit. Everybody did that. Uh, or like trying to use the force on like a remote control and bring it over to me. I still but, do that. Yeah. Can you imagine like we're we're more familiar with like AI and technology now and you you saw it like just recently like trying to watch it at the time. Oh yeah. Like what, what the fuck? What the hell? Like, Is this they, actually possible? Yeah, dude, like like just that whole thing the concept coming out in 1999 still blows me away how it came out because mm-hmm. it seems like you could think of that right now make a movie or a show about that right now like coming that long ago is like dude i don't even think those people were like ready for that they're probably all mind fucked they probably didn't even realize what they're gonna go see yeah like oh you want to go watch the matrix what's that i don't know let's go check it out mm-hmm. and, like what the hell is this and then they had to wait four years for the next one mm-hmm. which came out the, the two two and three came out the same year yeah i saw that i looked that up i was like why like was that yeah, planned or, or what? they filmed them back to back and then they wanted to release them the same year to avoid confusion like a delay in the movies coming out like watching the second one and then kind of just i don't know i guess forgetting like what happened and then watching the fourth one mm-hmm. they want they wanted it to just be like pretty close together oh, i think one okay. was in april and the other was like in november yeah something like that i saw that and i was like that's weird but yeah okay cool because they're, they're basically like the same i don't know they feel like the same movie they're just two halves oh, okay got it but i did like the second one the best i will say that oh that's your favorite one Mm-hmm. nice except except for the part in the middle but other than that yep i loved it because you've seen them all right andrew yeah you like them too i i do like them i knew that most of the stuff me. that happened in the first one but the last two i knew nothing had no idea what to expect and I feel like I mm-hmm. definitely benefited from that. Because mm-hmm. I know a lot you, of people don't like the next two after that. Especially three. Yeah. People hate three. So you need to watch them before the next episode, Alex, so you can tell me if you hate three. Oh, yeah. Also. I will. All right. I will. You, you'll hate it? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll, I'll watch it. Oh. I'll watch okay. I thought yeah, I yeah. thought you were already committing to no. hating it just because no. everyone else hates them. Um, well, after hearing Andrew say like that they were still pretty good and then everybody i've heard online says they hate them it's like why do you hate them i need to know why the third one's the most different from the normal pacing Mm. of the other movies i get i I guess i feel like the cgi gets better am i right yeah okay a lot better (laughs) i mean (laughs) they're like the matrix one is still very very good but the sometimes the the effects are just outdated and it's like uh okay Let's get through this. Even the like choreography mm-hmm. is very like airy when they're fighting. Oh yeah, because like, they don't even just, touch him. Like, yeah, yeah. They're just like you can heck a floating. Like in the when air Morpheus stuff. is fighting Agent Smith in that one bathroom, I could totally see it. Totally you see, see the, it. The, the the hits not making contact, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're just reacting to it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was a good movie though. Good movie. I give it a solid eight point four. Dang. That's really good for you. Yeah, you you kind of rip movies apart. It was an interesting concept <laughs> that had a pr- that had a, a a pretty decent story, shot very well, good dialogue, good action. Uh-huh. It was all very well, uh, good. Mm-hmm. Good movie. Do you like Do you like Trinity? Uh, at first I did not, but I because I I always thought that she was going <laughs> to be like a, a a bigger part. And she is a big uh-huh. part, but I felt like I felt like she was gonna be bigger. I think like I knew that I almost thought that Morpheus was going to die, so I was like, mm-hmm. "Oh shit!" I kind of did too in the first movie, yeah. So in the first one, I was like, "Okay, so as Mor- if Morpheus dies, then Trinity might take over the whole mm-hmm. organization," but he didn't. So I I I like her. She's cool. Mm-hmm. Seeing it like today too kind of takes away from watching it when it first came out because i i doubt people thought there was going to be sequels mm. so like when they were watching it like the like morpheus could have died and it it would have been like ah but then what's going to happen in two and three because mm-hmm. they wouldn't have known so it would have been like <gasps> more high stakes yeah. if they were like at risk of dying mm-hmm. so see to benefit. me like it, it it did like a good job of ending that movie 
but it mm-hmm. also left it open ended so that they could make open more. ended as fuck. Yeah. They didn't destroy yeah. the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, but it's almost like it, it feels like the ending of Men in Black. I know I've said that before, but like Men in Black, the first one ends mm-hmm. pretty wrapping it all up. But there's a little bit of hint that there could be another one. Same with this one. If I saw this back in the day, I wouldn't think that there would be a second one. But there if is. If you had watched it as a kid, do you think oh, you would have understood God. what you were looking at? Fuck no. no. Fuck no. I, I would just... Because <laughs> it's not like super big action packy. Like, you know, like mm-hmm. there isn't the big stuff that you think of the Matrix when dodging bullets until the very end. So it's like, it, it's like sprinkled in like a bit of Kung Fu, a bit of stuff like that cool jumping onto buildings and stuff like that but then you don't really see the full unleashed you know action until the end yeah as a kid when i saw it i was into it like for the action and even the game like i think there was two games that came out for it um but you don't play as neo not the one i played but like i was so into it because you could do like you could trigger slow motion run Mm. on walls freaking shoot upside down in the air it was Hella insane! You're basically a superhero, dude. They should make a new Matrix game. That would be tight. They could get Keanu Reeves. He's hella into being in games now. He is, dude. He'd do it in a heartbeat. In anything, he would hella do it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But I, I, I remember playing a Matrix game. I think I played the same one you did, but you could, you had complete control of slow motion, and jumping and evading bullets and everything. And like, Mm -hmm. this is tight, man. This you is could see like the sick. trail of the bullets like coming at you yeah, yeah. as you dodge it. I loved it. That was so loved cool. it so much. That was so cool. I wonder if Zach's played it. I don't think so. <laughs> Probably not. Dude, no. Where the fuck is Zach? <laughs> where are you, Zach? <laughs> where are you? If you're oh, listening right now. Yeah. Where are you? Why aren't you here? Piece of shit. <laughs> these guys. These guys were in the room with bed bugs last week. They're, they were still here. Fuck yeah. So I don't know where he's... Fuck Zach. Fuck yeah. Right now? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I love Zachy. <laughs> Zach's my boy. Ew. I love Zach. He just threw up right my now. My lord. called him Zachy. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> he made me nervous yesterday. He was kind of angry. Oh, yeah? I, I will be on... Yeah. He, <laughs> he, we were Xbox play Live some was games. giving him trouble. Yeah, and as soon as we were trying to play, Xbox Live was messing up. So we couldn't talk to each other. So we kind of chalked it up as an L for the night. Like, all right, I guess we're not going to play. Then we had another friend get on who we were waiting for all day. And then Andrew invited me. So I was like, all right, I guess we're doing this. So me, Andrew, and the other friend started playing. Zach happened to join mid-game. And I told Zach, like, oh, Zach, this guy's going to get off, like, after this match. And he's like, all right, I'll go to bed then. And then just left. Fuck. That was all he said. Fuck. You could feel... You could feel the anger. Fuck, I mean, dude, you <laughs> pissed him off. Not him. I'm just, I was a messenger. Xbox Live did. And then, yeah. ironically, after we all met up the second time, there was no problems. Mm-mm. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. You're just, you You piss people off too much. Or no, we piss you off. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, all right, Andrew. Jesus. You said you had some news today. Oh. Or I guess news. Well, not news. Just stuff I'd like to share. Uh-huh. So I finished that season of The Walking Dead. Now, I have to ask you, Michael, a question at the end of this. What's up? Not you, Alex, if you don't care. Or you might have <laughs> an opinion. But spoilers for the season nine of The Walking Dead, if anyone out there still watches or cares. <laughs> but I finished it, and OMG, that, like villain that they have for like that season and then season 10 i'm pretty sure hopefully that's all done by then but that villain like the whole plot of like why they're attacking each other is so bad is it the like the dumpster lady they live in the dump no no no. so when she leave that dumpster lady like she lives and she escapes with rick like she's okay she gets him out and that's the uh, whole setup for the movies. Oh, yeah. She was, like, on the chopper, right? Yeah. With, okay. Mm-hmm. So she's gone with Rick. But there's these, like, new people. I think they're called the Whisperers. The Whisperers? The ones that wear, like, the zombie masks? Yeah. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Is and gross. they have, like, whole scenes of them doing it. It's like, bro, this is gross. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, like, a straight-up, like, hillbilly cult. Like, <laughs> they have, oh, like, God. an episode where they attempt to, like justify like why they do it and then uh-huh. they're like we've been through too many like groups like makeshift groups and they've all collapsed so we've just given up and we walk with the dead 
But then they run into, like, the main characters, and they're like, well, our group hasn't died. Like, our, like... (laughs) Our place that we stay is yeah. pretty good, and then we have multiple. We're normal. We have no, multiple like towns, basically, mm-hmm. and like, nope. No, <laughs> like, why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why? That's so dumb. What the hell? So are They're you like saying that it up? is the same Humpty Dumpty bullshit since like Humpty way Dumpty. back in the day? It's like, yeah. but even yeah, worse. basically since like season four, where they've just fought groups. So you're saying that there have been five plus seasons of this Humpty Dumpty bullshit. What do you mean, Humpty Dumpty? Like, Explain, it just feel like uh, Humpty Dumpty like falls. I, I can just picture like Humpty Dumpty falling down a stairs, like how Humpty Dumpty does, and that's how The Walking Dead has been. Humpty Dumpting all the way. That down. fool just falls off a wall. He doesn't fall down. No, I know that he falls off a wall, but like yeah. if you can imagine Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpting endlessly <laughs> down the <laughs> stairs, that's what I picture the Walking Dead series. From those seasons, because I've heard that this, that this latest one, or the, maybe the one before, was actually pretty good. Fuck you. Mm. <laughs> that was the question I was going <laughs> to ask you. So, oh, god damn it. <laughs> when, I was, when I finished watching it, because the episode, they pulled like Game of Thrones where a bunch of the heavy stuff happens, the, the second to last episode, and mm-hmm. the last episode is just set up for the next season. And they did that. When I, before I got to the last episode, I was like, fuck me. And then this idea clicked, like, as I was watching the last episode, because it's just set up, so nothing really important is going on. I was like, fuck, do I have to keep watching? Because mm-hmm. I'm going to watch those fucking movies, because I want to see what they do with a full-length movie. Yeah. But, and I love Rick Grimes, he's my favorite character out of all of them, so it's just set up for me to watch them. Mm-hmm. But I was thinking about, like, are the movies going to connect to the shows? Or is it the movies going to attempt to solve the apocalypse? Or is it just going to be extra bullshit, just more expensive Walking Dead bullshit that we all know and love? Just another group <laughs> that they got to fight against. <laughs> yeah. Dude, just... they did that for so long, just group after group. Yeah, like, like they just fight another group. And now yeah. they've been, they're getting cocky and just dragging on that one group for two seasons. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, just... every every villain that comes next, they're like, you know what? Maybe we can make it last another season, like because the other ones it was always like one season, yeah. And then the mayor was like season and a half, and then what the hell, Negan, full on two seasons. Everyone's like, okay, we're kind of tired of this guy. Come on, but I don't know what else they could do, honestly. Like, what other kind of drama they can have in that kind of a show? I know, and especially like the big cliffhanger from the end of season nine is that they finally like attempt like. There's, like, a couple people in, like, their main group that have, like, finally realized, like, you know what? Let's actually attempt to make contact outside. And then Mm -hmm. at one point in the season, Michonne's like, fuck no. Like, who cares who's out there? Like, we can barely handle it ourselves. And at Mm -hmm. the very end, you can – they do that super cliche. Someone uses the radio. They walk away. And it's just still – and then you can hear the whispers of someone the s- on the some other, other side. colony. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, God fuck it. me in the <laughs> ass. Yeah. So now you know what happens in a what? lot of zombie movies is they want to go to like Antarctica or like Alaska or like someplace that's, yeah, like <laughs> someplace that's just super cold. That's like one of their end goals. Like it's got to be safe there. The virus can't live over there. So I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. Of, like, w- there's this place that we can go to that's going to be safe no matter what. Instead of just hopping from town. Because, like you said, we don't even really know where the hell they are anymore. They're I just kind of going from <laughs> forest to forest. Like, supposedly coming across these makeshift towns. Careful, Michael. But don't give them any up? ideas. <laughs> they're give gonna, them any ideas. In, because they're going to do it. When you bring up the snow, all right, you bring yeah. up an, a third enemy. The fucking yeah. environment. <laughs> Cause yep. <laughs> let's say if let, let's say if like you 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 have a show, a zombie show set in Antarctica, right? So you have the people and the other group of people. That's one enemy, right? People, mm-hmm. zombies, another enemy. That's two. Now people, zombies, and the environment. That's a third mm-hmm. enemy, which will lead to a fucking 
long, dry, <laughs> drawn out show of them getting getting killed off by the people, the cold, and the zombies. They're losing three, people to frostbite. <laughs> three things of bullshit. And then you're gonna have other stupid types of zombies, like frozen zombies with like fucking frostbite, and they're all they're even madder because it's cold and everything because <laughs> they'll have to introduce another ability to these fucking yeah. zombies and it's just uh-huh. a total bullshit that's run itself to the ground that needs to stop it has to stop well, they said they're not going to so maybe they will get <laughs> to Dude, the snow like, eventually you just gave them a was, fucking idea that's what i was thinking oh it, that the whole time i was watching i was like are they gonna oh i can't tell because the movies are still happening they haven't said shit about stopping them and uh-huh. that, and then announced that like two years ago. So I don't. Uh, I'm thinking about like so, <laughs> and even in this that season, they still talk about Rick. Like, damn, mm-hmm. we miss him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 and it's oh, like, oh, uh, are they gonna ever bring him back? Do they just live off their lives? Like, is the movies gonna be so epic? And does Rick save the day? Literally, the world. And they never yeah. know. Wait, has Rick died no. in the show? No. He's alive. No, he, Is he going away. to die in the show? He's no, not no, in the show. No, no, he's not on the show anymore. Where'd he go? So he gets super hurt really bad. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then at the very end, there's this bridge that they were attempting to rebuild. But it wasn't complete. And there's this giant herd that comes. It's following him this whole time. And he manages to get them on the bridge, and then he blows up the bridge. But then he also, like, falls it down this river. And then that's when the garbage girl finds him. And in previous episodes, she's already planning on leaving. Like, apparently she knows people that are clearly way, way better off than the people mm. that are on the show. Mm. And she plans her escape, and then she convinces the people that she's leaving with to bring him to. And then, like, the last shot is of Rick, like, plugged up to an IV and everything on a helicopter, and she's telling him, like, don't worry, we're safe, we're good. And that's it. Like, clearly leaving where everyone behind. So these three movies with Rick, are they supposed to be after that? Uh, They're supposed to be after when he gets saved. But I don't know, but that was two years ago. Dude, he's, com- he's, c- he's going to come back. This is all he you th- does. Do you think it's going to connect? <laughs> do you- all he no, does. no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Okay. He decided to drop out when they said, oh, yeah, we're not going to stop. Cause, like, he's going to the- reshape <laughs> his contract, dude, because this is all he does. <laughs> he's going to get his three movies because I firmly believe that this one guy, Rick, is the heartbeat still of the show because they clearly can't stop talking about him in the episodes. <laughs> well, they just mention him. Because, you know, in the show, they don't know what happened to him. So, like... And he was... Off, and Michael, vouch for me. He was the best person on the show. Yeah. He's the, no, he's dude, the dude, dude. Captain he's, America. He's coming it. back. He has not had his proper closure with those people. Okay. He's that's coming what, back. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, even though the they don't say anything about it connecting to the, the TV show, I think they will. At oh, least yeah. at the end. Oh, no. They have there's to. no goddamn way... Whatever happens, hopefully it's something good. I swear, I want it to end. Like, I don't do want too? this thing like, oh, 40 years from now, it's The Walking Dead. It's still going they're, on. They're pulling Supernatural on this shit. It's going, it's going to hit like 20 seasons of oh. Simpsons. But that means that like, until he comes back, they're going to have the most bullshit seasons because <laughs> they're going to have to keep everyone alive the whole time, which means they're just going to keep doing the same thing, like little, little uh, either civil wars in their own town or are they gonna just fight group after group? Where Where is uh, Carl? Dead. He's Actu- dead. Actually dead. He's yeah. dead. Yeah. Yeah. Dead. 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 Why would they kill him off? I think he does die. He, in is, the he wanted to go to school. And <laughs> the actor. Why? He wanted to finish school. Oh. He was. He didn't finish. Come He's getting on, in the dude. way. No. Come on. The show is ten years old. I know that. But ten years of getting them checks. It's not that great. It's not guaranteed. He's would you get go back to school? Big gig. Yeah. No, you would not. Uh, At least oh, me, like... no. <laughs> yeah, I said, would you go back to school? Well, I don't know. I haven't been on a show for 10 years. <laughs> but there's no guarantee he's going to get anything as successful after True. that. He's not a main character. Degrees. Yeah, you're nice. right. So <laughs> If that's your old track record, um, like, uh, what have you done? Carl oh, I was on The Walking Dead. Is dead. Mm-hmm. Maggie, dead. She left the show. But I think she wants to come back. 
Oh my god. All right, here, Alex, Alex. That one's the weirder only, one. Go, Michael, the go. The only ones that, the main ones that you know that are still alive are Rick, Maggie, M- Michonne, and Daryl, and Carol. That's it. Everyone else, sayonara. Damn. So Rick is, so Rick left the show, but his character is alive for the movies. Uh-huh. And then Maggie left the show, but her character's alive. They, like, say, they pulled a Captain Marvel. She's like, oh, she went to go help other communities. And even in one of the episodes, (laughs) they're like, "Uh, have we heard from Maggie? And they mention mailing to her. Like, what? Mail? (laughs) Postman? (laughs) So, like, so you know where she's at, but you're not going to go? How the fuck did you mail? You have a pigeon? And I've heard, heard, I don't know if it's true, that she wants to come back. I don't know if that's true, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. But she's technically alive still. Just let it die. Please. And then I I think I think the Michonne, the, the person who plays Michonne, I think she's, al- she's already said she wants out. I don't know if she's yeah. out yet. I mm. haven't seen the, la- the latest season. Ah, interesting. That sounds I feel like so the, dumb. the natural way of things is to just split the main character between Daryl and Carol. Cause they're like they're like the only leaders left. But I don't know. Carol's a weirdo now, from what I've seen. She looks like a damn uh, huntress. Yeah. She's wearing like raggedy ass clothes. Has like long hair. She's got like a bow. She looks like some kind of warrior that lives in the forest. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And Daryl is like still exactly the same. Exactly the same. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Longer hair. So that's pretty like, much it. Because of all those main characters either getting written off or being killed. Has the show replaced them with other, yeah, other yeah, characters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've replaced them with other characters, but uh, but that's the thing. Like the show could clearly go on forever because they could just keep killing off the characters. They just keep cycling them in. Yeah, they keep bringing, bringing in, in new, new ones. ones as the old ones die. Mm-hmm. So it's always new blood. <sighs> it... <laughs> it's so stupid. It's like never ending. <laughs> that's You're what not I'm going saying. To end, dude. <laughs> just don't watch it. Don't support it. Let it fucking die that's a, I have enough is enough people, have to watch the movies the old people love it it's like those damn i know like er shows that never end dude, or like yeah, those fuck yeah, feel dude. good family shows that don't stop there's one that's been on for like 30 years that hasn't stopped i don't know what it's called <laughs> dude michael did you watch up? any more space force i finished it oh please what did you the, think like, like did it get better did it get worse? It got better to me. You thought so? Wait, hold on. I thought it got better. Okay. What's up? All right, no, you finished, but we got I need answers on a question. But keep going. Oh, Talk no, about we'll, space we'll go back. No, 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 we'll go back to yours. All to right. Finish off what you're going to say. So what do you think? My problem is, are they going to, are the movies going to come back to the show? Should I keep watching the show to make sure I know or not? I the, think, I'm watching the movies for sure. I think every, movies come everything out, I'm watch that you care about will be in those movies. Like every show. Huh? Are you saying the shows are going to connect to the movie? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Fuck for sure. Me. I think everything that you need to know about The Walking Dead, about any of the characters that are left, will be in those movies. Because oh. what's going to happen is Rick is going to meet back with them and have closure. Damn you to That's hell. what's mm-hmm. going to happen. You know it, dude. Like, they can't just make <laughs> movies that are Separate, called... Where he, like, saves the world. You can't just say, like, everyone the there's... Walking Dead, only Rick Grimes' story... Like, no one else from there? Like, dude, those people were such big parts of his life. Why would they just be gone in a movie? It's only three parts. <laughs> I don't know. Like, that doesn't make any sense. I don't write these movies. Uh... Like, you gotta remember, like, a lot of the people who watched the show also like uh, Daryl and Carol and mm-hmm. Rick. So I love Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. So, badass. like, you have to realize, like... I think it would be such an idiotic mistake for them not to include them in that movie. It would be so stupid, I think. Because <laughs> then there's no there's um, no unity. There's no, like, how it all connects. And them saying it doesn't connect is a big misstep for me. Because, again, a lot of the people just watch the goddamn show that covers all of them. So when you cut all that shit out, you might not get a big uh, response or the response you wanted. You know, I, but I don't know. I, I have no idea. You know, they're still going to have another show? Is it going to be a three shows at once? Really? Yeah. Why? <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> Fuck, I don't remember. Oh, God. the other one? Fear the Walking Fear Dead? Fear the Walking there's Dead. Fear the Walking Dead. Is but there's going to be a third one. Yeah. And there's going to be a third one. But it's all, you know, <laughs> fucked up because of the pandemic. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't want another Walking Dead show. I don't. I don't want people to watch another Walking Dead. They don't need another Walking Dead. Do people actually care Dude, about Fear the Walking Dead? Look at, I don't look know. At <laughs> it has to be. I don't think so. Look at what happened to the CW? Hey, 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 yeah, like yeah. Look at like Supernatural. Worlds. You're right. You're right. You're right. They had Arrow, Flash, Batman, Black Lightning, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl. Now they're gonna have Superman, his own mm-hmm. show. About and, like oh. Star Girl or whatever that. Whatever. Yeah, Star Girl, which is not even on actual TV. It's only on the app. <laughs> yeah. And then they had like animated shows that were existing in the same universe, but it was a cartoon. It was like called Vixen or something like oh, that. Oh, I remember that. Oh, what about Batwoman? That too, right? Oh, she got recasted. I the, thought they the... weren't. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's a totally different character now. It's not even the it's same. It's not even Batwoman, Batwoman. anymore. <laughs> Dude, I heard yeah. like, okay, so there's going to be many opinions on this that I've read and heard. Be careful. I'm not, re- not going to say about this opinion. Especially in This women. opinion is that I heard that she was not the best to work with. Like, the like the crew and her did not get along that well. And that was one of the reasons of why she left. Like, mm-hmm. they, I, I don't know what it was, but it was it didn't have to deal with, like, her, her, her character or the viewership. I don't think it was, but I heard that she and the crew and the writers and all that just did not get along, so they had to part ways. That's what I heard. That seems very reasonable. I mean, that that would make a lot of sense of why they made such a dramatic change. But mm-hmm. I don't know for for sure. So as far as you saw that, the only thing I saw was that she said like something super vague, like those who know know, like why she left. And I was like, what the fuck? What, okay. what does that even mean? <laughs> well, I don't know. well, she wants to keep her cards close to the chest, I guess. I think so. I think so. Do with a lot of those shows, like what's his name? No, it's not Greg Berlanti. There was someone else who was, like, a producer, mm. and he got freaking, like, fired mm. for, like, sexual harassment with a bunch of the female Harvey cast Weinstein? Members. That guy? No. No. Oh, I've never touched no. these TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, the CW, I think, is all in, in shambles. So how many with that shows kind of do they have? Like, almost that 10. Are still, those, all those shows that he said, said are still airing. Yeah, except for Arrow. Arrow is done. They have, like, the rest done. Of them. They have over five. Oh my god! Oh <laughs> <God>. <laughs> his face. <sighs> yeah. And and you were bitching about The Walking Dead. They barely have three. True. True. Yeah. But they could but, have more. You <laughs> see, okay. So, so a lot of those shows, they they how many seasons do they have under their belts? Like besides Flash, I think Arrow still has more. Uh, no, but Arrow has the most. Arrow has the most. Then Flash. Then whom? Legends of Tomorrow. Like, how many? No, wait. Excuse what do you me? say? It's either that or Supergirl. Legends of Tomorrow is on, like, season four or five. Because mm-hmm. it came out 2014, I think, or 15. Yeah. People love that shit. You know why they keep making them? <laughs> that one was good, too, the first season. Do you know yeah, why they, they keep crap. making them? Whoa. Because superhero fans cannot get enough of the superhero origin story. They cannot get enough of it. <laughs> they cannot. You know what's sad though huh. is that they the shows do so much of a better job of covering like the DC universe mm-hmm. than the movies do. Yes, and that it makes is. me so yes. sad. <laughs> but you know why? I think it's just, it's, up it's just because like now there's just becoming a shift into what is what what people like more now. I think I'll say this. I think generally people enjoy more TV shows than they do the movies now. Yeah, because they don't have to go anywhere. That being one of them, and I think what a TV show does is it, it stretches a narrative. Some can do it very well. Others, like Walking Dead, cannot sustain it that long. Mm-hmm. And they think that they can keep going when they really shouldn't. But when you get a good TV show that could stretch a narrative and have cliffhanging episodes and they have good characters, yeah. you almost get kind of spoiled with that. So when you go into a movie that's just a two and a half hour movie, some people can feel cheated. They want more. They have that. They they want that sense of um, storytelling that comes from TV into a movie when that's just not really possible. So mm-hmm. I feel like I mean I have a, we we all know some friends that enjoy TV more than movies and that's their opinion. Like, but you know I think like you you know like that's why I think. 
superhero stuff is shifting more or is more successful, I think, in in TV because you can cover a lot more ground. You can get a lot more of the, you know, how many issues of, of a comic book or of, of this character. You can actually bring that to life in a in a in a in a better way than in a two and a half hour movie. And if you get mm-hmm. lucky to get a sequel, if you get lucky, you know. So I think it's a good thing for that medium, but I think that because TV watchers are so goddamn spoiled with all these good goddamn shows, they all mm-hmm. of a sudden hate movies or don't even care about them anymore. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I think. And that's why I think that the DC movies are becoming more of a one-off and that's it is because they're <clears throat> already doing it for some people better on the CW. <laughs> which is sad to say it's so but sad. i guess they are because the cw has so many fucking fans of mm-hmm. those shows and then like well, they lost a lot their ratings have dropped like mm-hmm. a shit load and i mean it's still a good amount but it's it's like a good en- a good culture. amount to keep going but it's not a good amount to brag mm-hmm. <laughs> yep no like Mm-mm. i remember like back in the day before they casted ezra miller as um flash and I know that there's a ton of people that would rather have Grant Gustin because they thought he was pretty damn good as Flash. Uh, like I know in the show, you probably in the show, in the show, yeah. No, not in the movie. I he would he would not fit with the rest of that mm-hmm. cast mm-hmm. of heroes. He was so like just CW. Yeah, like the like, way he talked, <laughs> his manner, what an insult. And stuff. It, no, it's like the way he, like everything was so dramatic. The way he talked, it was always like. Life or death, just constantly. But it's like, if I don't know, it was never that dr- that intense all the time. Yeah. But his character was acting like it was. But I don't know. Is, is the Flash like a serious character, or is he more like jokey and stuff like that? <clears throat> Depends. The Wally West version is like way joke, way more jokey. Mm-hmm. But Barry Allen is not. He's more serious, which I know that doesn't make sense. But yeah. there's two different Flashes. Mm-hmm. There's that's all I won't go into that because that's a whole other thing but yeah there's wally west is the comical flash always cracking jokes that's the one that because you saw the justice league cartoon right yeah oh super that's serious wally west like no he's kind of no, funny but he's one's... not like super like jokey joke he's like constantly hitting on women like every episode but that's not jokes that's just being oh, the... <laughs> <laughs> the... <laughs> what? He, that's not making a joke that's just making him immature out of say. all the characters, he yeah, he's like the immature one, the comic relief okay. out of all of them. All right, yeah. I can see that, okay. yes. yes. And then Barry Allen is the one that's more serious. But, like, it's weird because, like, in one version, they're both grown-up Flashes, but then in the other, Barry Allen is Wally West's uncle, mm-hmm. which I, depend, it just depends on which universe you're focusing on. Um. But yeah, I don't, I don't know why CW is still successful, honestly. They should stop, <laughs> I think. I think it's because they're so low budget. Like, the effects are garbage. So they can uh-huh. just keep making them. And they make... Uh-huh. And they... From what I've heard, like, they have pretty solid, like, start-offs. Like, they start off pretty well. So they get uh-huh. all that viewership. And then it, it just depends on if it stays or if it dips, you know? If Stargirl keeps going, I will be so concerned because I've seen <laughs> clips of it. It seems like a Disney Channel show. Yeek. It's so bad. But have you seen it's a Batwoman? Terrible. No. I haven't either, but I was just wondering. I don't like Batwoman, though. I like Batgirl, mm. not Batwoman. See, I didn't Batwoman. even know there was a difference. I thought they just gave her Batwoman because it sounds better, I guess. I don't know. Well, they don't do it in the, in the show, I don't think. But Batwoman uses, like, freaking handguns oh. and stuff. Like she's So yeah. she kills. She, yeah. Yikes. She kills. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh. She crosses that line. Oh, boy. <laughs> Not Alex's line. <laughs> yeah, Not no. my line. <laughs> no killing, please. <laughs> I feel like the DC movies could um, redeem themselves if they would stop trying to just constantly push stuff out. They need to, like, take a moment and, like, take a break and get all of their their cards organized and be like, okay, what kind of story do we want to say? Because if they want to connect everything, they can't just keep mixing random characters. Like, who knows if Robert Pattinson's char- Batman is even going to be with the rest of them? Because mm-hmm. then that means if they throw him in there, 
they're gonna have to just acknowledge the fact that it's a different actor and everything mm-hmm. and the characters aren't well, gonna it's like that thing that you sent me today wise. like saying like they kind of want ben affleck back to be batman hbo max HBO is like max. a separate universe yeah. oh my batman. god well, because like hbo max i believe is ultimately under at&t i believe mm-hmm. and at&t really really liked ben affleck so mm-hmm. and they saw that there's sort of potential in batman ben affleck's batman jerry leto's joker being like developed to a movie or a series or whatever but mm-hmm. the thing is ben the batman role almost murdered ben affleck like it almost like <laughs> put him in a coffin they don't know like, that physically like what do you oh wait, because like... when he was batman he like lost it dude he he like was under so much pressure. That's why he, like, I think that's what he said. Like he, he started to drink a lot because he was Batman oh and stuff like that. So it kind of like took a toll on him, in a way. So I would, I would think like he would want to stay away from that. But I mean, I, I still don't think it will happen because of what it did to him personally. So it would be cool, but like I don't think it's for the best. You know, Alex, you got to get in there. You got to be our inside man. I know. You got to work up the chain to the <laughs> producer level or then you can pull the strings because the same thing happened with like Ezra Miller as a flash. That's why they went through like so many directors because he kept fighting with them. Well, he's just like not in his lane. He like needs to know that he's an actor <laughs> and not a, he, you were Stay hired. Yeah. You were hired to play the the character that we write for you, bruh. Yeah, if he would have like, done that, we would have had his movie by now. Yeah, like, but, like, apparently he's so in with the creative process. It's like, dude, do, are, you, are you even, like, like, cr- like certified, uh, not certified, but are you even, like, credible to write on this stuff? Like, uh, like, you, you gotta play your cards, man. Like, y- they own you, basically. You gotta I hate, calm down. I hate when I would see, like, you know, the the... The people are cast as like the superhero, and then they post an image like, "Oh, look, I'm reading the comics of like Batman or whatever character they're playing." Mm. Like, okay, that means they're just gonna dude. They're just doing that like because the cameras are on them. Yeah. They don't give a fuck, <laughs> man. They don't give a shit. Like, like, okay, there could be some like I, I could see like Ezra Miller. He see he he sounds like a somebody who would actually read a comic or two, maybe, but he would all ultimately make it his own thing. I mean, that's mm-hmm. what they're doing because, like, they know for a fact that the comic book that many people have read multiple times is out there already. But they still kind of want to change it up a bit, which is fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's part of being creative and taking stuff that you can adapt to a different medium, you know? Like, Into the Spider-Verse could not be done live action, I think. I thought it mm-hmm. could be before I saw it. But seeing it, I was like, no fucking way. This would not work. <laughs> in live action it is meant for animation like you can literally Mm -hmm. feel the comic book pages lifting off the screen lifting off the comic book and going onto the screen like that's what it felt like to me and it was perfectly made and i love that movie it works so well but you have to realize that that doesn't happen for every movie you have to tweak it a bit it just it it, you gotta it's like kind of pending or to audiences to see like because ultimately you want people to see the movie to buy Mm -hmm. a ticket so you can make a profit right but at the same time you want to preach as a studio creativity is the main thing that we honor here it's like well bitch there are some studios where you can tell that is not true it's false Mm -hmm. i won't say names but you might know Mm -hmm. yeah no they definitely have to like pick and choose what stories they want to do because some of them like you said won't work on screen like dc has this whole thing where they they had like you know a rebirth of the comics that came out like new art style and everything new storylines and then they crossed it over with like all of the previous iterations of it so they had like the current versions interact with the versions that came out in like the 80s 70s and they're like what the hell like why do you look so weird yeah and it's like so they had like three different generations of the justice league all together and it's like what the fuck like why why would you even do this how would this even work in a movie if they were to try to do it they can't (laughs) dude it wouldn't work uh, i mean i would think at first it'd be pretty cool you know that'd be tight but Mm -hmm. you had to think the general public's gonna be like the fuck is happening why are there so many Mm -hmm. like and then it's like oh boy like who are we gonna fight with all we got three flashes 
we can defeat anybody. Like, who are they going to fight? They tinkered with that on the CW because no. they had the they had like the Thanos uh-huh. character on there, and then they had like three different versions of Superman. Mm. Like they had the Smallville, they had the current Superman, and then they had Brandon Routh be Superman again because oh, yeah. he mm. he was Superman in Superman Returns, but it wasn't that Superman; it was a different one. But this one was from like an old ass comic, so he had like gray hair and stuff. And then there was there was Barry Allen, and then there was another Flash. It was an old Flash. So they kind of did it on there. But even then, it wasn't all that great because they can only do it for like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but So I don't want to bring any of these DC shows down. But every time I see them, like a frame or Dying something side. from anything, it always seems like they're in this dark room, like a bat cave almost, just talking. Mm-hmm. Is that the main thing of the show? Because... It is. Like, it's drama. It's CW. They're talking like 80% of the time. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so it's nothing like <laughs> No. So like you can tell like they have to do that because of the budget, obviously. Mm-hmm. Like because when Flash ro- wants to run, oh fuck, we got to spend $5 million on that. <laughs> but they, they use the same backdrop like half the time. Yeah. He's just running through the city. Same buildings passing by like three or four times. Arrow didn't even use that much special effects initially because mm-hmm. there wasn't. It was just him. And then they started spreading out to all these other shows that actually had real heroes. Oh, yeah. Then they had yeah. to spend the big bucks. Like, Legends of Tomorrow probably used a lot of their money, to Ooh, be honest. Oh, my God, yeah. <clears throat> They're Fuck traveling yeah. through time, so they had to they had to make, like, dinosaurs and stuff. Jesus. That got really weird because it looked bad. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah. <sighs> yep, yep. So, anyways. DC, whatever. Anyways, back to what you thought of Space Force. Space Please, Force. I need to hear this. It got better. The first two episodes were hard to swallow, mm. but I think that happens a lot with pilots. Yeah. With a lot of shows. You, I feel like I find myself telling it to people like, you got to get past the first episode or the first season. Mm. It's like not that great at first, and then it gets better. But I thought the humor, the comedy took off a lot better for me mm. later on, especially in the second half, like the last five episodes. Um, I did not think the daughter was that annoying. Really? Oh, like you said. Damn, yeah. dude. Like, I swear dude, to God. There was like a part like uh, when like he, she straight up calls Steve Carell a bitch like and? for being a dad. Like, hey, could you please clean up your mess? Like, why are you such a bitch? I'm like, what I was, the fuck? I was fine with it because it's like just normal teenage shit. I, I guess. Got I guess. One parent in prison and the other one's like only there like an hour out of the day with her mm-hmm. so she's like living on her own all the time of course she's gonna be rebellious oh, i guess but that like, was like that me rebelliousness attention. for me felt super cliche especially in that last episode when she clearly does the fucking oh cliche. she like runs away with the crack addicts she like... does the cliche run away from home with the crack addicts mm-hmm. calling everybody to come pick her up like that was so fucking cliche to me i was like i'm done <laughs> I'm done. It's not like I don't like you as the character. I think you're fine, but like this whole arc is just poor, piss poor. Mm-hmm. And piss I, poor. I thought like, <laughs> dude, like I'm gonna spoil it a bit, but it's okay. Spoiler warning. So you know how the chick from Friends is in the show. Mm-hmm. So I forget she her name. I think name. her name is Lisa Kud- Kudrow? Kud- Kudrow. Kudrow. Yeah, yeah. That's her name. And like, she's fucking in prison after the first fucking scene of the movie because so, mm-hmm. there's like show. a time jump right or the show yeah there's a time jump the whole series i'm like why the fuck is she in prison <laughs> what the fuck did she mm-hmm. do so i'm like i was hoping like we would get something for that but nothing happened mm-hmm. i was like oh god damn it now i have to see what the second season's about at least <laughs> i at least want to know what mm-hmm. you did that's Come the on. same with the walking dead there's this one point where <clears throat> So the whole show, like, since they wear the mask, they, like, walk with, like, the actual zombies. And at the very beginning, when the group finally starts to figure out, like, what the hell's going on, like, they notice that the herd, like, the zombie herds, like, are, like, moving in patterns. And, like, what the fuck? And then it's revealed that these people are literally inside the herd. Like, they they can control which direction the herd goes. And on the second to last episode, when they... She, like... They don't, they kind of, ca- they capture Daryl and then the head whisperer person like takes Daryl to like do this big threat. Like, Hey, you guys need to stay out of our borders, which they don't say, 
in the show, but apparently after that, everyone knows what her borders are. But, and as, like, a way of threatening him, she, like, takes him to this, like, gorge, and there's, like, like, 10,000 zombies. And apparently, like, they can control, like, where the herd goes, so it's like, if you don't stay, like, away from our area, we'll just make these, this herd go through all your towns. Mm. And obviously, in the show, they can't, con- like, kill all of them, so then I was like, fuck me, now I have to know <laughs> what the hell happens. <laughs> Yeah, but Damn. dude, this one, I shit you not. One Tell scene, me. they're all together as a family, because he accepts the promotion to be the general of mm-hmm. Space Force, and then a time jump, and then uh, there's a mention or something like, we gotta go see mom, she's in prison. Why? <laughs> like, I'm just thinking like, come on, really? It's and like, like uh, so they stole Arrested Development? Kind of. Kind mm-hmm. of, yeah. But oh, that, that show is so... Con- the- that show was confusing to me at some points. Like the what was it? Especially the last the, season, the newer seasons where they actually try to justify everything. Yeah, <laughs> but I will say, it almost felt like it was becoming less and less of a comedy as it progresses. So it's worse. Like yeah, because I feel like the first few episodes, they're all so dumb. I mean, they're so dumb. Like there's a scene where Steve Carell is talking to another general's dick. Oh, yeah. Remember that, Michael? No. Like, I wait. think the Air Force general kind of, like, walks up to him, and he sit. Uh, Steve Carell is sitting down, and he's standing, mm-hmm. and he, like, looks back and starts talking to his penis. Whoa. Uh, damn, I don't remember that. I but think, I, I'm pretty I sure that's, that's what happens. You think? But, this is quite the accusation. <laughs> you can probably go back and see it, but, like, he does, I'm like, oh, boy. That, like, they're just dumb. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. So, yeah, it, it, for me, like, it, it kind of became more and more, uh, I guess, a drama, sort of. That's more of a comedy on the way. But I will tell you, though, the episode I hated the most was see, it was episode five when they're playing, like, fucking paintball or whatever. Mm-hmm. I just thought that was so dumb. I remember that. I thought that was so dumb. <laughs> yeah. But then after that, it became less of a comedy, more of a drama, which is, I guess, okay. It, it wasn't mm-hmm. as bad as the first episode, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I probably will watch the second season, but... If it if it they take forever to release it, I will probably lose excitement. I'm like okay, I'm I'm not into it anymore. I don't think they will because they jumped on it. You can tell, like they got mm-hmm. to work as soon as they announced it. Boom, they did it. Cause it came out pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, it did. And it looked maybe too quick. And it, you can tell there was a big fucking budget too. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yep. Cause they had the spaceship take off. That was cool. Oh, the that fucking chimp. Oh, we had to spend millions on that. And the dumbass yep, dog. <laughs> yep. The chimp looked pretty good, honestly. Yeah. Could have looked way worse. But it was dumb, though. <laughs> yep. I told you that part was dumb. That was stupid. Well, silly. I, I wanted this guy to see it at least one episode. I don't want but to. But he doesn't want to. <laughs> good. Save yourself, Andrew. Thank it's you. not worth the time. Thank you. But you know what? I, I was I was thinking. Well, Walking Dead is apparently so. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there are some things that Andrew likes that I cannot stand. One thing like that show? recently came out. Dave? Uh, I don't know if you saw... No, no, no. Not Dave. I don't know if you saw... I'm sorry. Did you see the new Jumanji <laughs> the, the movie? The human? <laughs> <laughs> um, n- no. Okay, so I think... Great I re- film. He loves it. I cannot stand it. I cannot. Wait, Jumanji 2? Yeah. With Danny DeVito? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I haven't seen oh, it. Oh, boy. I, he, <laughs> he loved it. Mm-hmm. He loved it. And I was like... Dude, I fucking hate that I was, movie. I, I remember. I remember this. I was you laughing said out you, loud. So I was thinking, like, well, why you should watch it because we clearly don't like all the same things. So mm-hmm. maybe, maybe you might like it. What? Space Force. I fucking don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he will. Yeah. To be honest, I I, I, I was watching it. Like sometimes I'm like, would Andrew laugh at this? Nah. Nah. He won't. But yeah. do you know anybody else who's seen it? No. no. Oh, uh, well, damn! Just me and you. It's just fuck. Me too. <laughs> yeah, no, I I don't know anyone else. Yeah, it's not even on the top ten thing, is it? No, I think it dropped quite a bit. But I mean, Code Eight was on there a long time. No, it no. was. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. was. Yeah, it was. It was number one for how long? It was number one for I don't know a good it couple was, of days. It, it I think there. Space Force was number one for like maybe three days, maybe. 
So it's just as good as Code 8. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't that good, apparently. Mm. If you ask Alex. I think I would rather watch Code 8 because it's over quicker. Oh, oh Because shoot. it's over, it's over quicker. Quicker band And it, and it doesn't off. try to be funny, whereas Space Force at some points tries to be funny. When it's mm-hmm. branded as a comedy, you know? Yeah. I get you, I get you. Yeah. Jesus. Any last uh, words, <laughs> boys? Not really, no. You better come back next nah. week, Zach. Fuck. Yeah, Zach. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe, maybe I'll leave just to spice it up this time. <laughs> just me and Alex? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. One yeah. last thing. Were you guys What's talking that? about how I always wear a cap? Yeah. Yeah? Why? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, think I don't remember. Or I did. I did. Is there something uh, wrong with that? Oh, I just said I that since we're in quarantine, my and since you wear a cap all the time, Michael hasn't seen your hair. <laughs> you haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. Do you want to? I mean, you can show me either now on screen or off screen uh, when we're done recording. You, I was mainly pointing out how you and Zach both wear baseball caps mm-hmm. all the time. And then I pointed I mean, you, out that. Um, but I think <laughs> I keep, you guys don't I, talk to each other ever. I keep my hair pretty tight. Like, there's nothing really peeking out, so you can't really see much. Uh-huh. But Zach's is a uh, Zach's hair is more loose, so you can kind of tell how long his hair is. His is straight as straight as can be. Yeah, super straight. It's like a perfect line. Yeah, just perfect. But out. I honestly like I probably wouldn't show my hair on camera because it might be a letdown for a lot of people because it's it's not <laughs> that big of a deal. Just look up. Just look up him on Instagram. You'll see it there. But or on Twitter. But all my pictures of me are from years back so it's not going to be accurate not your twitter icon your your convict picture that's your mugshot my hair is short then your wanted picture oh your hair's long now i didn't yeah now it's kind of long long, but it's not as it's it's gonna disappoint you i i'm telling you (laughs) all right well then show me after we won't we won't show the audience (laughs) so they're not disappointed yeah okay we'll do that any last things (laughs) No, I'm nope. Uh, just I'll watch the fuck Zach I'll and watch. <laughs> Zach. Please fuck come Zach. back, please, Zach. Zach God damn it! Bomb on him. He probably has atom bombs. <laughs> oh my God! Bring love it. Bring COVID in. Spritz. <laughs> no, not that. End the show. All right. All right. Uh, out, thank you guys for listening slash watching. Uh, you can find us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Podbeam. Hopefully, we'll have all forums back. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.